Hello everyone and welcome into the sports update for this week. My name is Brian Dunn and with a long weekend in sight, there's a lot to get you up to speed with in the sports world, so let's dive right in. Boys hockey started out the week with a matchup against the Holliston Panthers. A close one, but the boys echo out Holliston 2-1 to start it off. Tuesday was a busy one. Both boys and girls hoop were in action as well as track and gymnastics. Girls basketball continues to roll with a win over Hopkinton, but the boys have hit a bit of a cold streak lately. They dropped their third straight against Hopkinton. They look to bounce back Friday against Millis. In gymnastics, they dropped their first of the year to Medfield, and in track and field, they inch closer to playoff time, and they lead on a strong foot, led by Olivia Bedette's first place finish in the 1000. Wednesday, girls hockey was in action against another multi-town team. Allie McDonough and Marissa Cataldo found the back of the net, and strong goaltending from Kenny Mazzola gave the Mustangs a 3-2 win. Swim and Dive gets back on the right track with a TVL win over Hollison, 97-83. A late game, yet an exciting one for the boys hockey team, 8.30 over at Medfield to round out the week. A 3-1 deficit quickly turned into a 5-3 lead led by Harry Gover's four goals, leading to a 6-5 final. The Mustangs improved to 7-1-1 on the year. Wrestling also continues their strong performance with a quad meet last weekend. Their most notable win was a win over Wilmington, 42-16. Also, I had the pleasure of calling the game with Mark Hoover of the Pee Wee B2 Playdown game versus Milton over at Milton Academy this past Wednesday night. It was a tough loss to Milton, 1-0, but the kids played great, along with some great defense and goaltending from Landon Duquemel, who Mr. Hoover caught up with postgame. All right, well, we're here with, with who may have been the player of the game. Now, again, hockey is a team sport, but Landon, some unbelievable goaltending from you tonight from beginning to end. How did you feel coming into tonight's game? Oh, I felt a bit nervous because we skipped the first round because there was an odd number of teams. So this, we automatically went into the second round facing a B2, a Herman team, when we're a B2 Ray, the lowest division versus the highest division. So it was just pretty nerve-wracking. And, and, you know, it, they, they, Milton started off pretty strong, right in, right in your own zone, kind of from, from the get-go. What's it like maybe to kind of get those first couple saves out of the way, and then do you kind of get into a groove? It's kind of like you do the warm-up, and then, like, the first couple minutes of the period, when they start actually shooting on you, is like a, a post-warm-up, and you just get, like, warmed up for the rest of the game. Yeah. It, it, it looked like you were seeing the puck tonight really well. You looked like you were playing again as the game went on with a lot more confidence. As the game was going on, were you kind of getting that feel that you, you, you were kind of like seeing the puck well? Yeah, it, it was pretty good. Thanks, Landon. Great job between the pipes. Another team in action was the Bantam B2s that headed up to Waterville Valley this past couple weeks and competed in the Deep Freeze Tournament. Going 2-1 overall, Nolan Harrison and Kyle Turner had some strong performances, and Sam Gurney was a standout between the pipes. Great job, boys. And that'll do it for sports this week. Of course, stay tuned to our social media for updates on when we'll be going live and for all of our sports coverage. 